What's poppin' peeps? It's your boy Coops here. Yes, I'm still keeping the lame intro alive. We're keeping it going. One day I'll forget though. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, I'm not kidding, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Now, unlike before, when I was blathering on Dokkan how it's been years, even though it hadn't been really um, years with what I was pulling and whatever, in terms of uh, the last videos I did, but actually with this one it's been years. The last thing that I did with this video was just like a brief review on how the game was, and that was back when the Pegasus event was out. That was like, I think that's almost running on two years, if not two years ago. And ever since then, we've gotten GX and now 5Ds, and it's just... It still kept good in terms of the gameplay. Um, Konami's had their ups and downs with it in terms of, like, the gym distributions and the events and stuff like that. But it's still been a game I've been playing pretty much constantly the moment, you know, the days I can play it. And I've still been having fun with it. I really kind of hate PvP now because PvP has gotten to the point where a lot of people are running one turn meta decks. Kaiba will be proud because right now Blue Eyes is on top at, at the moment of recording this. You just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn and say, screw the rules, I have money, and just nuke the field. But um, today we're going to be going through the GX story event. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, again, okay, before I even start, sorry if I'm like kind of coughing or if like my other videos you hear this a lot because with it here in Florida how it's been flip-flopping between uh, hot and cold I still have like the most allergy riffic spasms in the world and I don't think I'm ever gonna get o over it until we get a more a more stable flow of you know constant weather whether it be cold or hot and not just flip-flopping all day so I apologize for that, but as you can see from my count, <laughs> there's a dice number down there. I've just been gathering it up, just what days I can boot it up. I've played the Duelist and kept the uh, dice in my inventory, but as we go to the event actually here, um, I'm still on round one, and I have not gotten any of the rewards yet. So what I was going to do is just do a first playthrough of it, if hopefully I can, I can get through this without having to like sniff or cough or anything too much and tried to give my uh, just the best performance voice wise because I am going to do voices but I'm not going to be super cringy and then when the duels happen I'm going to be like pro Jared and act like I'm the characters and not really try to give them voices or nothing I mean pro Jared's obviously doing better than us in terms of content he's got a following we're just noobs but you know even the top people make mistakes and I got to admit that one that duel, not Duel Link series he was doing, but it was one of the, um, I think it was Legacy of the Duelist, something like that. It was just, it was really cringy for the, the wrong reason. Not even the, not even the good kind of cringe. So, we're just gonna go through here, and I guess along the way I'm gonna talk about, like, kind of how I watched and what I felt about GX, because actually growing up with Yu-Gi-Oh, I grew up with the original series. I grew up with GX. A little bit of 5Ds, but I didn't really watch the whole way through. I was primarily the original and GX. And I couldn't give a crap about Zexel. I don't know nothing about um, ArcV or Varanes or whatever the hell is out right now. But this, this is more my turf and my alley. And then also, as we get around the board and get to the certain duelists, I'm going to try to pick who dueled who. So I might have cuts here and there as I'm switching over decks. I'm going to try to keep their decks like as consistent theme as possible. For example, right now for this board, I'm going to use Jaden. Jaden primarily used Elemental Heroes in Season 1 until he swapped over to the much more inferior Neo Spatians. But thankfully, we don't have to worry about that right now. So let's just go through, roll the dice, and hopefully this isn't too long of a video. Alright, so already we're making it to Dr. Crowler, or Kronos de Medic, as he was called in the Japanese version, but I primarily grew up with the inferior four kids done because four kids is funny. Alright. Here we go, bring out our inner Sean Schimmel, because Goku also voices Crowler, haha. <laughs> so, son, I see your name is Jaden Yuki. I'm Dr. Valian Crowler, Department Chair of Techniques here at Dual Academy. 
I can't do a good I can't do a good Jaden. I'll just I'll just be generic Sonic voice for him. Wow, a department chair? From how you were dressed, I thought you were the mascot. <laughs> Four kids. <clears throat> Sorry, a little bit of graspiness in my voice. Jaden's coming down with the cold too. <laughs> how dare this slacker! He not only showed up late, but he barely passed the written exam. I intend to make certain that he won't be getting into Dual Academy. Oh, all right, get your game on. And now with these events, you can pick level 20 or level 40 for the Duelist. And as I've done the original Yu-Gi-Oh ones, not on camera, but in my past experiences, the level 40s they give really dumb abilities to. Like for example here, I'm pretty sure that they'd have Crowler start out with Ancient Gear Golem. And he, for those who don't know, he's a 3,000 beater that when he attacks you can't activate traps or spells on the turning attacks. So to save me some headache, that and I don't really need a lot of the draw rewards from this because as I've been doing the dailies, I've gotten most of them except for like one or two that I didn't have. So to keep my sanity, we're just going to pick level 20 ones through all out. I know, bitch move. But I just want this to be a casual, a cash video, if you will. Shout out to Diabetes. What happened to Slow Beef and Diabetes? They're really not making content anymore. But then again, live. I know Slow Beef had a child that he was dealing with, and I don't know what happened with Diabetes, but oh well. That's, that's, they're not Yu-Gi-Oh! focused, so. That's unfortunate. You learn that you don't have what it takes to make the grade. Alright, and I'm not going to worry about any of these, like, missions, but they're kind of leaning towards how he beat Crowler. You have to have a field spell card, Skyscraper. And Elemental Hero, Flame, Wingman. Which, I mean, we'll get that, but... But I will go ahead and duel myself. I won't have it auto-duel. I'll at least click and have some, you know, interaction. And hopefully I'll turn on the... Because I don't think I have the audio lines turned on. So I'm going to have them turn on just to bring out some full immersion or whatever. Because that's another thing I really love about this game. Is that they had the voice actors record lines and kind of... Makes you feel like you're watching the anime again. Oh, the Duel Academy Stadium! <laughs> so, before this, like, starts up, I'm probably gonna swap that over. It's ties of the bre- what? <laughs> okay, so they're not on. Unfortunately, he's not gonna say, I set a monster, and Jane's not gonna say, I draw. So let me go ahead and turn those on right quick. I know I'm ruining the immersion. If I didn't, if I didn't already with, like, the, uh, click clappity clapping. Uh, we'll turn on the visuals, we'll turn on the uh, character lines, and uh, let's go from there. So what do we have going on here? Alright. Uh, so, with Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, um, the, seri the series itself, um, first season anyway, um, it started off more as a, I guess, kind of casual series? It was kind of like a day to day kind of romp through like chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard I don't know <laughs> I'm just saying stuff that doesn't make sense I'm gonna do Jaden's trademark thing a fusing whoa probably doing this way too early but uh, he's only level 20 so I should be fine but um it was very different from how the original Yu-Gi-Oh kind of took its plot semi seriously in terms of like an anime grandiose type of thing, where G actually was just going through the days of Jaden wacky antics and whatnot, and what's this threat of the week this time? Oh no, it's a big bully that's dressed in a bunch of blue coats stealing a bunch of kids' cards. Better stop him. Or oh no, it's Jinzo trying to resurrect himself from the spirit world. It got really weird. But then it got even weirder when it's like, yo, this formula is not gonna take off too long. Let's go ahead and um, series it up a bit and actually give it a plot. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and activate that. Uh, bit, 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 bit. I could think. <laughs> Maybe I should have just let it auto duel. That way I could actually commentate better. But I gotta kind of get used to doing stuff and simultaneously talking. Try to keep a, a flow of conscience out. And that's like, that is still the hardest thing to do. And why I normally have, like, uh, RTB as backup, especially with a game like this, where you kind of have to think what cards you're doing and not mess up. But again, that's kind of half why I put it on level 22. But despite all of the, like, weirdness GX had, I mean, it was still so anime with what it did do. 
And I en enjoyed my sit down with GX. Maybe not as much as the original Yu Gi Oh! Because, of course, I'm going to be biased. I'm one of those original Yu Gi Oh! tards or whatever. And there goes the dogs again. Hopefully, they don't come out or whatever. Hopefully, the voice acting kind of muffles them out. Either that or it's like, the loser will be fed to a pit of dogs. And Crowler's losing. He's like, can I change my mind? <laughs> Danone? That's what the Japanese version says because he's apparently a stereotype of a Frenchman. Anywho. But, um, what was actually bringing back my uh, down memory lane trip in Love for GX is that little Karibo was actually, um,. Let's see if we can get another fun fusion here. Um, was actually little Karibo's kind of... He was taking some time to watch the GX episodes. And um, he was just having a good old time with them that way. And it was a very good experience. Trying to think of words and I can't think. Um... But yeah, it was just nice to hear, like, his opinion on the show and him give, like, funny commentary on it. Better than I can do, for sure. Um, and it was just, like, kind of remembering each episode that he went through and be like, Oh yeah, that was a thing that happened. That was so stupid when they were making Yugi's deck to be, like, this great freaking <laughs> tourist attraction or whatever in the school. But, um... But now, unfortunately, he's cut back on that. Not only that, but he was doing like a um, kind of a December deck kind of building thing where he would take a pack and build a card like he did last year. But unfortunately, he suffered like a lot of like back problems suddenly. And he's just in massive pain to even be able to do anything. He tried to do it for a bit, but it just it wasn't working out for him. And it was it's like, geez, I just hope the best for him. He needs to just focus on getting better. He all knows that we, we love, like, what he does. <laughs> it's better than what I'm doing, but, uh, whatever. Okay, back to cringy voice acting. A hero deck? That might have been effective in whatever small town you came from. But here in the big leagues, winning with your comic book heroes is truly fiction. That grade A four kids dialogue. <laughs> I know my Avion and Burst in tricks or what was it, Burst Lady in the Japanese version, and then Nevion was Wingman? Whatever. Aren't very powerful by themselves, but if I can form them together, it's another story. And I have just the card to unite them, the spell card, Polymerization. Fusion Summon, there he is, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. You're dueling very well for an amateur, but next time try playing a monster that has more attack points than what's already out on the field. It's ancient year goal, and he probably would have started with that. I know my wingman has less attack than your goal. That's why I have this, the field spell Skyscraper. Whoa, he played a card, he did a thing. Alright, Flame Wingman, show those heroics that attack that ancient gear goal. I read that wrong. Go show those heroics and attack that ancient gear golem. Fine with me. Your silly skyscraper has to know when my golem's attack points by one. Crowler, Crowler, if you were to read the text. Though in the 4Kids version, their cards don't have text, so maybe he doesn't really know because they're just guessing with what the card is because they edited them like it's just a big old picture and then like a splotch of green or purple or like yellow depending on what type of card it was. So maybe we're going on that logic. He doesn't know what it is. You know what, Teach? You're right. Skyscraper hasn't lowered your golem's attack. What it's done is weighs my flame wingman's. Wait, time out! Go, Skydive Scorcher. This can't be. It was my very best card. Until I get the fusion for Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, but they haven't written that in yet. And cause of my wingman's superpower, is he Joey all of a sudden? And cause of my wingman's superpower, <laughs> whatever. Golem's attack is dealt straight to your life points, or LP. <laughs> Golem's attack is lip. <laughs> no way! That's game. So I guess I passed the test, huh, Teach? It must be dumb luck. No way Crowler could lose to some flunky. I'm the Chaz, I would know. And shadows that them putting him in the Obel as a blue outfit, because in the um in the game itself he only has like the uh the black coat when he becomes 
in the Japanese version, Manjo May Thunder, or in this version, just the Chaz and Chaz it up and use Chaz as a metaphor for physical things. Like, I'm going to Chaz all over you, Alexis. <laughs> Sound like a complete creeper. Um, here, we're going to make her voice. Shout out to X the Dark One and his Yu-Gi-Oh! GX <laughs> Umbridge series. That kid's got a future here! Wow! I made the... Made one of the sexiest wife who's just like had the most unattractive dumb voice in the world. Okay. So these are little story things. I don't think I'm going to get them all in this one rotation. Because I think there's even more than as you go originally. But if you're interested in them you could always probably find them online. Or just play it yourself. Or just watch the anime because that's normally what they cover. And I don't think I have any dice support items. So we're just going to roll hope for a three or one. Hey, we got the three, so here we go. We get the watch in. Welcome to Duel Academy. Duel Academy rests on an isolated island in the middle of the ocean. And you know, I'm looking at the timer thing, and this is already 16 minutes, so this might be multiple parts, actually. But that doesn't stop incoming students from arriving for a new semester. Oh, they even gave Sire, they colored his thing red nice. Looks like they're three different dorms, and I'm in the Slifer Red Dorm, or Osiris, as the Japanese version, but something about Slifer bringing the executive producer of four kids, and he got his name as a guy card or something like that. Some meme, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge meme, you can, you can go figure that out. What should I do for Cyrus? Um, I'll just make him sound nerdy. Cool, same with me. Just gonna, gonna sound like Mokuba. Oh, big brother. <laughs> Hey, you're in red too? Well now, let's see here. Yellow sleeves, yellow buttons, I don't think so. <laughs> Shout out again to little Karibo who thinks that Bastion is the most poshest shithead in the world. <laughs> oh, I get it. So that's why Sai and I are in red. Please don't tell me you figured that out just now. So what? Ever think I'm colorblind? Shout out to the four kids. <laughs> well, no, actually I didn't. You, are you colorblind? Or not, are you? Hmm. <laughs> and meanwhile, the shittiest dorm. So, this is how biased Kaiba is. Spoiler, Kaiba apparently made this dual academy thing. So, I'm supposed to lose the top. Because that was his guard card. Raw's in the middle. Because he was indifferent to that one. But Yugi's was Slifer, so his is the lowest tiered, dinkiest shack of a dorm. I hope it shows us the other two, because the the raw yellow is like, you know, okay, uppity, like, kind of middle classy, but freaking Obelisk Blue is like, Ow! in terms of dorm things. Anyway. This isn't a dorm, it's a, like an outhouse with a deck. You're kidding me? Check out the view! This place is great! I'm super optimistic until season four, which never was dubbed. Yeah, season four was never dubbed here. Oh, the Asian guy, perfect. Hello, children. Welcome to Slifer Red. I'm Professor Bana. And I'm not kidding. That's kind of the accent they were going with four kids. Because they're four kids. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to an exciting semester. This one's our room, Sai. You know, it's kind of weird meeting at entrance exams and now roommates. Think we're connected in some ancient life, like the Pharaoh and Guardian set out references. No offense, but that's just lame. They broke the molds when they made the two of us. Oh god, this guy. The guy that was in season one and they immediately like ditched him off the show because even the creators didn't like him. Who are you? And what are you doing in my room? Oh, you're my new roommates? Let me tell you how things work here. Like the whole color thing. Okay, I didn't think we were bringing race into this chum. Calm down. You got three different kinds of students here. You know, like I just explained. Obelisk blue, raw yellow, and slifer red. The Blues are the highest ranked students because of some cause of grades, others through connections. They're seriously, did Joey write this dialogue? 
The yellows are second highest, mostly younger students with lots of potential. Yeah, lots of potential, come on, pizza pepperoni! And what about a slice for reds? We're the red wonders, as in, I wonder how flunkies like us ever got this far. Oh. Forget that, red's a sweet color. He ain't lying. Where do you think the term red hot comes from? Alright, there's our little dice thing, and we'll move along the board. And wow, this one's already going 20 minutes, so I think I am going to be able to set, um, split this into separate parts. So, hey, what do you know? Alright, roll the dice again, and get a measly one. Woohoo, what do we get from the treasure chest? Nothing. Great. <laughs> Shout out to hitting puberty there for a second. Nothing. <laughs> That's again. Get a two, one, two. Yeah, two spaces. Yahtzee! That's not how you play that. All right, hopefully I don't roll on the uh, this kid here. I don't think I have any way to skip him either. I mean, yeah, I only have two dice. <laughs> All right. Well, we're probably gonna. Okay, good. We skipped him. Thank goodness, because I didn't want to um, lengthen this anymore. Right. Next one. All right. Now the time to get chased by the chair. Wow, this is the sweetest dueling arena I've ever seen. And you Slifer rejects aren't welcome here. You got that? This is Obelisk Blue's campus. This area's our turf. Yo, Red Blue says Blue, come at me, bro. One-on-one -on -one Halo. Final Destination only. Fox and Falco. The final... I fucked it up. Just ignore me. Then we don't have to leave as long as one of you agrees to duel me. I'll be a guest duelist. Heh, <laughs> you're that kid who beat Dr. Crowler. I suppose it takes some skill to pull that off. You got that right. Who was it luck? I say we find that out right now. Bring it! And why don't we make it interesting? Whoever wins gets the other guy's best card. Fortunately for you, Chaz, you don't really have a developed character deck yet. You don't get your stuff till later, so you really don't have any good cards. Watch me say that and you beat me on level 20. Cool! Guess I'll duel into the arena after all. Pick that level 20 because I'm a scared punk bitch. You learn why I'm an obelisk blue and you're nothing but a slifer slacker. <laughs> okay. So in this episode, the duel actually came off to like a unconclusive kind of thing, but then Jaden was like, hey, I would have had Monster Reborn, which means I automatically win. That was something, again, that little creeper was kind of pushing as a, as a meme, that Monster Reborn means you automatically win the card game, because he would have been able to, well, realistically, he would have Monster Reborn back his Flame Wingman that died because Chaz had taken it over during this duel, and some of the, I don't remember exactly how the duel went, but I, I remember that bit. Oh no, I've been chazzed. Don't even say that. You don't even have that yet. Okay. So this is obviously um, Chiffoni and Polymer. And I accidentally skipped their dialogue there. I'm sorry. They're going to be like... Bleh, bleh. I got I got to remember that I'm, I'm trying to bring full immersion. I'm just so used to like clicking everything. So I apologize about that. Uh, now see here. Um, the Chaz is going to Chaz me, and by Chaz me, I mean I can't fuse right now, even though my deck is all about fusing. So instead, I think we're going to we're gonna summon our good friend Blazeman here. Uh, we're going to activate uh, Blazeman's effect. And now I can fuse, but we don't want to fuse yet. And I, I don't, unfortunately, we don't have Stratos, so I don't even think I can get rid of the card. Um... He would confuse, but the moment I do, he's going to activate Chithunian Polymer. And I would rather, um, just to be safe, I would rather, um, oh, well, that has higher defense. Well, he's going to swarm me next turn. Wow, I think I'm just kind of fucked on level 20, because I know that's Chithunian Polymer. Because I remembered it from the show. So I should have put this in defense mode, honestly. Uh, probably this coming turn, I'll go ahead and put this in defense mode for now. Dark Spirit Arf Greed. Uh, sure. Uh, here you go, man. I have polymerization. Okay. <laughs> that was random. I'm gonna have to read. What did that card even do? 
Tribute one deck, monster, draw two cards. Oh, okay, he could have drawn more if I, I, if I wouldn't have shown him polymerization. Gotcha. All right, well, good. Elemental Hero Heat's going to come out of here with Big Dick swinging. And uh, we're going to go ahead and attack his Uranzo. So. But if I have two fusions, I'll go ahead and fuse twice because the show off that that's Chithonian Polymer, which will destroy my fusion and let him take it. Or I think it lets him just take it over. I don't think it destroys it. Alright, shout outs to a really useless draw. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Eh, no, we'll, we'll send me Elemental Hero Burst. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's what it's called, right? Elemental Hero Burst in a boo boo. No, I could have attacked with Elemental Hero Burst in a boo boo. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. So, we're wrapping this one up. You know, I always get into these and I have like a ton of things that I want to say. And I just forget them. They just go all in the wind, and then it becomes even a more subpar video than before. Uh, probably because there's not much to talk about in terms of the, the series. I would like for the moments to be brought up before I, like, go into what happened. That way I can kind of, like, remember whatever. Wow, they really want me to fuse. Well, I think I can fuse twice now. So, what we're going to do... Let, let me see my fusions here real quick. Because what I'm going to do is fuse, and then I'm going to, like... Fuse the weaker one, right? And have that one attack. So, okay. So, because I, I want to, I want to show off his Chifolium polymer. All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and polymerize <laughs> by fusing together, and I'm doing this because he did it in the show. My elemental hero burst in up, Zick, and this Dirk monster. That counts as a random fusion material. I fuse together my elemental hero, Flame Wingman. It's happening just like the show. I'm summoning this thing, and he's gonna fuck it over with Chithonian Polymer. Just because I, I want to show that off. And I want to show off this pretty animation. Because just recently, Flame Wingman got this animation. I mean, it was Jaden's signature fusion card until his big boy, um, Neos, kind of took over as his main card. Why do you not activate Chithonian Pop? Chaz, you idiot! You can't even use the card right unless he needs, like, some sort of stipulation. I forget. Didn't you need, like, some sort of stipulation? Maybe you need, like, a really powerful dark monster to activate it. I'm gonna put it up just in case, because I don't remember what you needed. Anyway, um, this guy. Kill that guy. Right? Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he used that again. He just left himself open. Uh, honestly, you just killed yourself. I guess Chaz couldn't even live as Chaz anymore, really. Alright. Time to end it with Flam Wingmans. I could have sworn they would put Chithonian Polymer down there for him. There's probably some other activation thing that he needs to do with it. I don't know. I was overthinking. I could have fused this whole time and we would have been fine. It's probably another dumb greed art or something. I don't know. But there you go. That's game. <laughs> Get your game on. Come on, better player cards right for a kid's song. Okay. And now... <laughs> And by the way, I'm glad it hasn't done this, but recently when I've been playing Dueling System, this weird little, like, loading error thing, like, connection error, and I'd have to pick, like, retry or whatever. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to win, and I'll take your best card. Even though you can't really use any of Jaden's cards, because they're all hero-related. Good luck using them, asshole. Oh, really? You're acting all confident, but your lousy monsters will get you out of this jam. You're wrong, because you don't know my monsters and I have a bond. Heart of the cards or whatever. My turn, I draw. Oh, guys, we got company, camper security. What? Nani story? I don't know Japanese. For real, Alexis? If they find us, we'll see it seriously busted. The rooms are all about arena duels. Come on! I mean, we're all students here. Well, well, slacker. Looks like you lucked out this time. What are you talking about? The match is in all. Yeah, it is. 
We'll see what I came here. I seem that I came here to see your sorry do list. This stinks. I had this guy on the ropes. You certainly are stubborn, Jaden. Only about my dueling, Alexis. Oh, that's hot. I mean, um, I'm sorry I didn't get to finish your match with Chaz. It's okay. I know how it would have ended anyway. Really? No offense, but it looked like it could have gone either way, really. I mean, it is a luck game, and you have to uh, draw cards. Sometimes you break it, and it's really bad. Because, you know, cards are uh, divvied down to different types. There's monster cards, spell cards, trap cards, and each of those have their different types, like equip spell cards, continuous spell cards, ritual... I'm going to cut you off right there. No way. Not after I drew this. I have the dual one. Because Monster Reborn means I automatically win. Wow! You know that's banned, right? Not anymore it isn't. This is going to be one interesting year, just cause he showed me one card. <laughs> right. And wow, that one little thing took 30 minutes, but then again, that happens when you like read all of the things in quick succession. So, we're gonna save the next area for the next part. I'm even surprised it's going up in parts. Then again, by the time I, I get all of this done, oh hey, cool bonus. By the time I get all of this done, I don't even think this, um, how oh, it's gonna be like, yo, go here and use this. I don't want to right now. No. Thank you for showing me, but I don't care about that. So, we're gonna get into the next part. Again, I didn't think this was gonna be more than one part, but lo and behold, we're already 30 minutes in. I didn't even really start. So, yeah, part two coming out, and but honestly, by the time I get these all out, um, you know, the vent's gonna be gone, but hey, what can you do? Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you for some more dueling shenanigans and me fumbling up on my own saliva in the next one. Take care, guys.